I'm Steve Gustenhoven and I'm here from IOTIZE. Uh, we're here with a connectivity solution as part of the ST Partner Program. Uh, we're really happy to be here at Embedded World today on our stand and at the STM32 Fan Zone where we're showing off a new product that's called the Tap and Link Primer. So you connect with the uh, development board right here. You have your solution here. What is that? So the solution is actually a radio module that includes an NFC device, the ST25. Can we open this up? Sure. Can you show the whole uh, module, what it is? Sure, sure. Uh, 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 right there. Bing. So this, this okay. like, a, what part do you have in here? So. Inside this box, or inside this uh, module, yeah. so the module is a uh, is a uh, board that includes an ST25 DV NFC device, okay, and the STM32 L4 microcontroller. Is this this one? And is that is this board? exactly, and that is this board here where you see all the interfaces, mm -hmm. and you'll see the NFC antenna that runs the perimeter of the device. Now, the specialization of IOTIZE is to provide what we call plug-and-play connectivity for embedded systems based on microcontrollers. That connectivity is a combination of a microcontroller that allows us to exploit different types of interfaces on a board, including, for example, the debug interface on this application board. So for here, here for example, we have an STM32 L4 application board, it's a discovery board, that we've taken off the shelf uh, from ST, and we have connected that uh, board to our RF module uh, via its debug port, so what we call the SWD port. Now, what that allows us to do is it allows us to provide a radio module that implements by configuration only. So that means that the user, instead of developing code to implement Bluetooth low energy or NFC devices, what they do, in fact, is they transfer a configuration to this module, and that configuration tells uh, the module what addresses it should access in order to show different types of variables, and uh, it tells it uh, what types of profiles should have access to that, uh, to that information. So is this an active NFC? Like a, a yes. Oh, uh, so you so can basically show any tag you want through the system here? Or? No, in fact, in this device, we're an NFC tag, and we're using that NFC tag to initiate communications with a smartphone and to pair the BLE interface in this case. And so, for example, we simply tap the smartphone, and here we have a, a smartphone interface that's based on information on this board. The information coming from that is coming from variables uh, that are uh, related to the RTC in the app, on the application board in the STM32 F, F4 target, and essentially we've rendered those as a clock on our smartphone application. Now, keep in mind that because we've connected on a special port, the debug port, we have both the ability to read and write information in the STM32 memory. So from this application, we can continue to monitor the evolution of these variables. So here we're evolve we have the time that's evolving. And we can also write the information. So that means we can log into this application and uh, change the time in the R RTC application. Now, this technology, and particularly the Tap and Link Primer, is a solution that allows us to bring a connection that connects to a smartphone as we've seen on our smartphone application to provide a user interface, but a user with a primer, when they configure their primer, will also configure their primer to send data directly to a dedicated cloud interface. So, in essence, by using the debug port, we allow users to quickly and rapidly develop their IoT proof of concept, whether they want to simply deport a user interface to a, a smartphone, or if they want to do a remote monitoring of information from their application on a cloud-based interface. So how is it to be a, a ST partner, your partner, right? Right, exactly. So we're here actually as an ST partner, as I said before, on our stand and in the STM32 fan zone. And we're very happy to be part of this program because it's allowed us a level of collaboration on this project uh, as we move forward implementing the NFC, Bluetooth, and the, S and the microcontroller part of our, our design. Uh, now we're to a finished product and we're promoting that product 
to the STM32 community and via the ST Partner Program. So anybody who's developing a, a NFC-based IoT product would be working with you? Solution, In fact, anybody who's working with an STM32 microcontroller can use our solution to bring NFC and Bluetooth low net energy connectivity directly to their application and without modifying their original firmware. They'll simply configure the module, plug it into their application, and they'll have a connectivity channel that can take them to a smartphone and to the cloud.